All right, so quick analogy for you. So people who have been following my channel um, probably remember that I talk about world peace coming. The timeline we're on is, is a positive timeline, good things ahead. Every day things are getting better. If you're watching the news and believe in what people are talking about when it comes to polit the politics and the, and the uh, affairs of countries versus countries and all that stuff, then yeah, the world seems like a dark and dangerous place. And yes, there are horrible places and horrible things that happen. Absolutely. But every day things are getting better overall as a planet and human race. Every day there is more love available in this world. Every single day, more people are waking up to what's really going on. Every single day, more people are becoming excited and less fearful. It's a freaking snowball. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so the analogy I want to use to describe how it's how this uh, the negativity is going to be gone and the fear and the control and the, the controllers, you know what I'm talking about. How, how is that all going to go away? We're going to have what many would consider world peace. How is it going to happen? Well, an analogy would be, actually, before I give you the analogy, I need to explain one more thing. So big picture wise, the reason that the negativity is going to go away is because the physical environment, the actual planet and life on earth, the environment, this world, will not support and sustain negative energy, negative vibration. Thoughts, feelings, words, objects, everything has a signature vibration. Love and joy and excitement type feelings and thoughts have a, have a certain uh, uh, faster type vibration. Fear, anger, hatred has a slower vibration. And as we move forward through time on this timeline, it's getting harder and harder for the negative energy and the fear-based uh, 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 old energy to, to exist, to be sustained here. It's going to take a little while, but it's becoming harder and harder for the negativity to be supported and sustained. The analogy is that if you have a, a, a pot on the stove, and let's say your stove is a, it's like some ridiculous power, ridiculously powerful stove, and it's a thousand degrees. Yeah, I know that's like that's like you're gonna burn your house down type of deal. But let's say the stove it's a thousand degrees, and the pot is on there, and it's flame, it's just bright red, not flames, but just bright red, super hot. You pour water into that pot, it boils away and turns into um, um, a gas, like bam, it turns into steam almost instantly, right? So. Let's say let's say that's like way down the road. That's like the earth way down the road. Neg the water is the negativity. The pot is the earth. The temperature is the energy that's causing this shift in humans. It's changing your DNA. It's making uh, it's 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 accelerating our evolution at an unprecedented speed. The energy is a catalyst that's changing humans at a cellular and DNA level, as well as everything else that's made of energy. In this physical illusionary world so maybe right now the water is in the pot and the and the, the the pot and the the um the stove is on high and the water's heating up and starting it's simmering so the negativity is boiling off that's my analogy ponder that for a little while it's a really cool thing to, and, and we can look forward to some very positive and beautiful days ahead after the negativity finishes boiling off. The process of it boiling off, chaos and friction, world's going to end. Okay? That's just the bad stuff bubbling away. That's the, the whole chaos, friction, world's going to end crap that we seem to be going through right now. So this is a good thing. This is a good place to be, and it's good times ahead. It's not always going to be easy. But it's going to be freaking awesome eventually for all of us.